I've been interested in biology since I was in my, my 20s. I really enjoy being outside and doing hands-on work. The DNR has really provided a lot of opportunities for me in that sense. And in Wisconsin, we're focusing on the wood turtle, which is a state-threatened species. Uh, we're trying to understand more about their ecology, habitat use, uh, nesting behavior. Wood turtles in, in particular, we don't know a whole lot about in Wisconsin. We'll track probably up to 30. Right now we have 18 turtles out uh, with transmitters. This is O2. When we find a turtle, uh, regardless of size or age, we take a bunch of different physical measurements, including weight and size. Carapace width, 133.8. We count how the rings on their shell to find out how old they are. Well, when we examine them, we usually look for any sort of physical characteristics that might distinguish them from other turtles. Um, abnormalities in the shell or injuries, old injuries. These are pit tags. It's like a chip like you can get put in your pet so you okay. can identify the animal again. Okay. If we get so, and that's the ID number then. See, now she's going <laughs> to flip herself over. They're definitely cute, which is a plus for any animal, and they, for the most part, don't bite. So, <laughs> they're easy to handle. I think most biologists would say that they're a perfect study specimen. You can set her down and then just hold her still. I already have the transmitter frequency and ID for that one. F4A, F4A047. And then turtles that are large enough, um, meaning they weigh enough, uh, will outfit with a radio transmitter and we do that by gluing a transmitter with epoxy onto their shell. And with that, they send out a little radio signal. So now we're going to check the frequency on this one to make sure we have the right. We release them at the, at the site where we ca first captured them. We're going to look for number four, and her frequency is 040. You hear the beep? We hold the antenna up in the air and listen to the frequency um, on, the, on the transmitter. Generally, you can pick them up with an antenna from about a mile to a mile and a half away from the animal. It gets louder over here. So she's generally in that direction. So she's on the south side of the river. Most turtle species uh, take a long time to reach sexual maturity. For example, wood turtle uh, needs to be approximately 11 to 15 years old before they're able to reproduce. Uh, that's a long time for a turtle to have to survive. One of the major threats is people taking them out of the wild and keeping them as pets. Uh, in addition, road mortality is a major threat and so is nest predation. Wood turtles like to nest in um, open sandy areas that don't have vegetation and have good sun exposure. That's why uh, road shoulders are particularly appealing to wood turtles and other turtles. So turtles come up on these bridges a lot and lay eggs because they're close to the water and they have the open uh, sandy soil that they like to nest in. And then it just so happens that road corridors are also frequently tra traveled by predators like fox and raccoons. So that was a snapper that laid these eggs last week. So something dug it up and ate the eggs. For the public, the takeaway in particular is to, to slow down at turtle crossings, avoid hitting turtles with your car, and don't, don't take turtles out of the wild. Wood turtles are a very ancient species, and as with any other species, we're interested in conserving them for the state, for future generations, for people to uh, observe and enjoy, which is why this uh, project is important. Turtle Project is, is a new experience for me, but it's been really good. I love northern Wisconsin. Any day that you see a wood turtle is a good day, I think.